Hi, party peoples. I have so much to tell you about. Lower your expectations. None of it is important, but it is another 24 and 24 vlog. This is number 15, I want to say. Could be lying though. Could be lying because I didn't check. <laughs> uh, anyways, I'm Heather from Hey Booktubes. This is where I tackle my 24 in 24 TBR. There are 24 of these vlogs in the year of 2024 and I do 24 things in 24 hours. So it's very themed. I am very committed to the bit. That's why you're getting 24 of these because do I think this is my own most interesting content? No. Do I think that this is the most exciting content? No. Do I absolutely adore making these? Not really. <laughs> they're kind of a lot of work for not that much payoff. However, there needs to be 24 of these suckers. So 24 there will be. So for the last week, the last six days to be specific, tomorrow will be the one week or whatever. I guess seven days. I started last Monday. It's Sunday. Get your act together. This is what we're on. So I have been doing approximately three hours worth of extra housework every single day. And uh, so I'm going to insert some clips if I can do that with the right over this talking. That would be cool. If not, it'll be a voiceover, but I'm going to insert those. So it has been very encouraging and validating because while my house is so much cleaner and I am seeing a lot of progress with approximately 21 hours worth of extra housework, uh, it's not even close to being done. Like it's validating that of course I can't get it all done. Even when I do a whole nother part-time jobs worth of cleaning consistently it still doesn't all get done so of course it's not done all of the time and of course there's always more to do like genuinely that's encouraging to me while I am also seeing the fruits of my labor I'm seeing progress in specific areas of my house and you know things that I wanted to get done so I did a list on my notes app it's a 30-day project I think is what it's called and it's like a bunch of deep cleaning tasks separated by rooms in my house and I asked on Instagram how many y'all thought I could get done and the answer was not very many <laughs> which I concur thank you to you for lowering the bar I like you but anyway so I've been working on that really consistently some of the three hours has been things like dishes and laundry and vacuuming that obviously has to happen all the time but I've been trying as much as possible to do those things outside of the three hours and to do mainly extra tasks in the three hours every day. I did take the first of the month off because none of this can be booktube related or book related or reading journal or any of those things. So all of that is not counting in these three hours. Cannot do it in these three hours, right? Editing videos, filming that, all that stuff, not part of it. So the first day of the month, I do a lot of booktube related stuff and I was doing my monthly wrap up and everything. So I did not do the three hours that day, but I've done it every other day. So, <laughs> Anyways, the point is I've been doing a lot of work <laughs> and my kids are going to be gone in two weeks. So I kind of have like a major goal of continuing this for the next couple of weeks. And then while they're gone, doing absolutely nothing in perfect, clean bliss for days on end. That's the true end goal here. So know that. And the exciting thing is you will be getting the next 24 and 24 vlog while my kids are gone. And it's specifically going to be a fall decorate and reset. So I'm really excited about that. So you will get to see how much progress I've made in the next two weeks. But this last week, very successful, great beginning, great foundation for this project. So <laughs> as soon as I'm done with this update, we are going to do a three hour timer and get started on that. I've been spending the last couple of hours on TikTok in my bed and also even more specifically the last 50 minutes or so staring at Sunday resets. I searched it and that's all I've been watching for 50 minutes. I find them so incredibly motivating. I love them. They're probably my favorite TikTok content right now that's not just like incredibly funny things. I mean, I am living for them. They are so motivating while also being very addictive, hence the 50 minutes watching them, which I wasn't supposed to. That was not the plan. <laughs> so know that. Anyways, so I did my eyeliner because I'm going to try and do that more like we're just gonna keep doing it till eventually somehow when I'm 80 years old it's good <laughs> so I don't know if my eyes are burning because I stared at my phone solidly for an hour 
and more than that if we're talking about looking away from it or if it's the eyeliner it's hard to say <laughs> Could be either or situation. I definitely need more coffee. You watching me, you're like, you need more coffee. I know. I know. I know. I started today out with no power because they will not stop working on the power lines right by our house. I swear to God, they're here every week and we don't even know why. We don't know what they're there for. Has they fixed the street light? No, but they're there constantly for no apparent reason. We really don't know what's going on. <laughs> but anyways, they turn off the power for like, our houses this morning before I had my coffee and I had to leave the house and I thought for sure that I was not gonna be able to have coffee but a couple hours later and 20 minutes before I had to leave I was able to make coffee so that was great hi <laughs> what are you here for goldfish <laughs> goldfish yes yeah, you can have goldfish. Ask Daddy to open it for you. He did. And he I'm did? Saying, Thank you. Oh, so you're just here to report that you have goldfish? Excellent. I love it. Hi, the My mom like, bought me goldfish. I did buy you goldfish. So true, bestie. <laughs> All right. Love you. Bye. Bye. See you later, you dumb. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. I did get coffee this morning, but let me tell you, I was stressed and I was not happy that I was spent the first few hours of today with no coffee. Then, I really want to let you know, because in the last 24 and 24 vlog, I started My Lady Jane and I watched the whole first season like that week after. And it is so good. It's so good. It's so good. So it is a like court politics, battling for the throne, plus a romance. Plus there's a lot of really witty humor that like really works for me is exactly what I like. There's sword fights and there is costumes and there is romance and not a lot of gore not a lot of like rape or hacking people into teeny tiny bits like there's like a tiny bit of gross things but most of it is not which usually when you have like these sort of historical or fantasy based shows and they are rated for adults it has a lot of stuff that I just don't want to watch <laughs> It stresses me out. I don't like it. It doesn't entertain me. But this one does it and it was phenomenal. Cannot recommend enough. Cannot recommend enough. It was so, so, so good. I just absolutely loved every episode. In fact, I will happily rewatch that whole season. So thrilled with that. Can't recommend enough. Really just perfect. Like the perfect show for me, honestly. So I wanted to let you know that. And then hopefully for this vlog, we can do some deep cleaning tasks. Right now we're gonna set the timer for three hours and we are going to clean. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Obviously this is a reenactment of what just happened because I did not leave my phone recording, but I literally just walked down the stairs and was like, wait a second, wait a second, we were saying something. So back to the 30 and thir the 30 days deep cleaning challenge list or whatever it is. In the last week, as much as I've done, apparently I've only done 10 of the tasks on that list and there are 112. So that's not going great. That's not like good numbers. However, I have like made progress on several and started several that are not technically checked off. And hopefully we can check off a few <laughs> in this video. But uh, it, it really just shows, I guess, how much of the day-to-day -day maintenance there is that kind of prevents you from making progress on those other things, which is kind of the entire point of the 24 and 24 vlogs, right? I wanted to do things that I procrastinate or that I have trouble prioritizing because there's always regular maintenance to do because I have children and pets and a husband and I myself do create <laughs> mess and all of that. So that really is kind of the point of these vlogs is to get things done that wouldn't maybe usually get done. So 10 out of 112, let's try and up that number a little bit in these 24 hours. So um, back to walking downstairs. <laughs>
And we have three hours on the clock. My husband did let me borrow his phone so I could film my phone <laughs> on the timer. Yes, that is Christmas decor on the top shelf. And you know what? It's staying. It's August. I'm not switching it out now. That's ridiculous. We will get to that uh, at the end of February slash March. That's the plan. I'm sticking with it. As far as I am concerned, that's just deleted off of the to-do list. It's no longer even a possibility. That will be staying through the next Christmas season and winter, which is why I didn't get taken down with the original Christmas decorations in the first place. This shelf, it's beautiful. It's built in. It's never, ever, ever looking good. Ever. I try sometimes. Uh, but truthfully, it's always a dumping ground and... Look at how stunning it looks right now. And then look at this giant laundry basket of stuff. <laughs> I couldn't tell you when it's going to get done. Then that took a long time actually. So made dinner, tuna salad. It was delicious. It was easy. Changed the laundry. Also because it was Sunday night, we watched AFE. We had candy. We did our usual routine and ritual. As much as I do want these vlogs to not just be the day-to-day -day maintenance, uh, the day-to-day -day creeps in every day on these vlogs, and, you know, that's unexpected. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Here I thought I could just skip it a little bit. In all seriousness, some days, you know, I can skip this stuff, but it doesn't always line up with the vlog, to be honest. Oh well. Hey. It is eight o'clock, so for the three hours, didn't quite go as planned, but I cleared off that whole shelf. I do have an entire laundry basket full of stuff from the shelf that I have not done anything with yet, so obviously that's a pretty big undone part, but it'll do for now. At the next vlog, let's make sure that the check-in is that that's taken care of, you know what I'm saying? But it's not the project for tomorrow. It's not the project for today. I ended up doing a lengthy call with my sister, who is my favorite person in the world. So, of course, I loved that. Ended up doing supper for the family. Had to unexpectedly clean up dog pee. So, always delightful. My husband told me that he really liked my triangles. <laughs> on my makeup which I thought was pretty cute and funny honestly. I made jello which I had promised a kid that I would make. Switch the laundry to the dryer, always important to do before the night, you know what I'm saying, and ran the dishwasher. So all good things, all good things. Not exactly how much I had thought I'd get done in those three hours, not exactly what I thought I'd get done in those three hours, but three hours more done on a Sunday than I would have done otherwise because the only thing I would have done on a regular Sunday is feed everybody. To be honest with you, Sundays I usually do not much and that's great, but <laughs> for this particular challenge, I am still like incorporating rest as was obvious by me being on TikTok in bed for hours before. <laughs> before this you know I have a clear end date in mind I actually had said that for the three hours I needed to do this one week and then I could reevaluate but I think that I'm gonna keep the three hours even if I don't end up completing it starting that timer is going to get more done than otherwise and if life happens I'm not punishing myself for that for sure because life is always going to happen that's part of being in community with it any creature other than yourself. <laughs> I'm going to take a shower, get ready for bed, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yes, I do use this mug every single time it's clean. So last night I did do some reading. I read several chapters and I'm up to chapter 12 of The Truth According to Ember. I like this. I like the humor. I like the relationship. A couple of things are bugging me. Number one, this girl lies about everything for no reason. That should not be surprising based on the title and the synopsis. However, I'm just like, no one cares if you've never been on a plane before. That's extremely common. Why do you need to lie about that? You don't. My husband had never been on a plane until after he was married to me. Like, that's just such a normal thing. The other thing is that this is... Well, this is not a complaint, but this is based in Oklahoma and for a Pennsylvania girl. <laughs> I know a good amount about Oklahoma because my mom is from there and all of her family is still there. So I visited there all the time growing up. So uh, yeah, fun fact, come by way of Oklahoma. <laughs>
<laughs> the other thing though that's bugging me is the reason why they can't have a relationship is because there's a non-dating policy at their business and I just never like when my characters don't have agency. It stresses me out. I don't like other people being able to decide whether you should be in a relationship or not. It's stressful to me. Anyways, that book does come out tomorrow, the day that you're seeing this video, so it is a August 6th release. Also an August 6th release and another arc that I'm reading is This Ravenous Fate. I'm one chapter into part two and I am not gripped. I'm not into this book. It's fine. It's not bad. It's black vampires. It's sapphic. Okay. It's historical. Uh, but I have read every single chapter because I've made myself read every single chapter. I am not gripped by it at all whatsoever. Uh, so that's not great. So I swear every single day on this three hour challenge, I hit an hour and 45 minutes left. I'm like, how? How is it possible? How is it possible? I'm not even halfway done yet. This is fake and rigged like i'm always so done as like you're not even halfway i'm trying my best to get this voiceover done tonight uh, this is a quick turnaround on this vlog you know so know that so we skipped some numbers uh i think because we're not done with the books summary yet by the way behind the stove was disgusting i won't even show you However, the night before I did DNF, Cree Captivity, did that pretty quickly, and then I started barely, just barely started, like a couple of pages of Behold Her. I specifically really want to read this because it does have CNC kink in it, which is my favorite. Uh, the stove and the oven and the all the stuff, those were all numbers too. So if you're like, why did we skip numbers? Um, they just were on the screen, okay? Bear with me, we're trying to get all of this done together. Was I ready to give up? Yes, but did I? No, I took some ibuprofen and I moved on with my life like an adult. And we're still cleaning behind the stove at this point. <laughs> I look like I've been through the rigor. <laughs> the three hours is up. The job is not done. <laughs> I'm so over it. I'm so tired. I hurt. I hurt everywhere. You saw me take ibuprofen. Give me the drugs. I've been trying to wait for a second cup of coffee till this is over, but it's an eternity later and we're still not done. <laughs> um, I see why I never do this. I see why in my mind I'm like, let's procrastinate that. That seems like not fun at all. And that is right. Um, and this experience will just reaffirm the procrastination next time. I can assure you of that. I do not do well um, doing things that I'm dreading. <laughs> if I'm dreading it, we are putting it off. Like, that's what we're doing. Avoidance. Procrastination. That's the name of the game. Um, and this is terrible. <laughs> I hate it. You may be wondering at this point how long it's been since I cleaned my oven and I could not tell you. I can tell you it's not been in 2024 and I will tell you right now it might not have been in 2023 either. I haven't used my oven all that much. I have started more recently but the oven doesn't work. It does work. You can only do it on 350. You can't change the time of day and you can't change the oven settings. It would cost me several hundred dollars to replace it. I don't care because this stove was $10. Someone that I knew, not even that well, found it on Facebook, asked if I wanted it and delivered it to me. $10 stove. I'm keeping this sucker till the day it dies. Like we are gonna make it work. So I don't use the oven that much. I use the air fryer more. But I can tell you at this rate, I will see you again in 2026. <laughs> On another note, I had never used the Scrub Mommy or the pink stuff before. They were purchases from TikTok. All of my TikTok purchases have been cleaning supplies, I hope you know. Do I buy them on TikTok shop? Absolutely not. I will not be encouraging that. But am I influenced by the TikToks that I watch? Yes, I definitely am. 
Uh, anyways, the pink stuff, I really liked how it worked. I really liked the scent. It's almost like a cranberry scent or a strawberry scent, but I feel like more cranberry because it's not that sweet. It's not very strong scent wise, and I thought it was quite pleasant. So I would recommend that product for sure. I look filthy. I have cleaner on my back, on my arm, on my front. I've got cleaner everywhere all over me. Uh, so this was quite the project. Uh, then, you know, I didn't quit there. I got the kitchen reset. Did I get the dishwasher loaded? No, but that's because my boys have to unload it. And honestly, I was not not about that life by the time we got to it. I did sweep and mop the whole kitchen, which is a huge accomplishment. And I used my uh, David Rose from Schitt's Creek hand towel, which if you've ever watched the show, you will get this quote, but my husband actually gifted it to me. You can see I used a lot of this cleaner. I don't know that I needed to use that much, but that is how much I did. Four and a half hours later, we have a clean stove, oven, side of the stove, behind the stove. It's all clean. We ate, we showered, we did a pedicure because it needed it. We got our second cup of coffee, talked on the phone to the husband, got ready to update uh -huh. you, watch Hannah Louise post in, as I do, you know? That's what I'm saying. All right. <laughs> We are done and I have things to show you, things to haul, things to do that I wanted to include in this video because they don't really fit anywhere else and this makes the most sense. So first of all, I got a package from Malia at Romance Schmomance on Instagram. She's no longer really active on there, but uh, we've been mutuals on Bookstagram for years. I'm not even sure how we connected or when we connected. We've known each other on there for a few years. So she had mentioned back during the great Sriracha of it, she had offered to send me some from Japan because that's where she was. I was like, you don't have to. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. Well, thank you so much though. That's lovely of you to offer. Um, and then a while back, she was like, hey, I want to send you some stationery from Japan. And I was like, I mean, you really don't have to, but sure, I would love that. So she did. She sent me a few different things. These super cute flags, these paper clips, these stickers, these stickers, these stickers. You see where I'm going with this? <laughs> these ones, lots of florals, which we all know I love. And then she sent some washi tape these nice neutrals this which is a floral which i have already used it is already open this set which again i have already used super cute and this uh christmas one with the ornaments and it's shiny and i can't wait to use that uh, in some upcoming spreads and then she also sent me this which i'm going to open up actually so it's this and then inside like a little a little paper that you can either write notes on or color or do whatever you want um anyways they're just really 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 cute that was so so lovely of her like I didn't ask for it didn't need it was really excited to get it when I got it it like made my day and it was so much fun but but then she also included Two types of candy which obviously we have to try on camera i think that this is pop rocks esque right seems like it and then this i won't lie i'm nervous about i don't think i'm gonna like this because i don't love fruit and chocolate together not my favorite however you best believe we're gonna try it for science and content <laughs> so let's start with the pop rocks esque one how bad can it be how bad can it be? It tastes like something that I'm trying to figure out. What does it taste like? It's really just tastes like some sort of candy from my childhood. I don't know if you can see. There's like those 
the little piece of candy in there and then that's not the pop rocks the pop rocks are like blue down in there that they're sitting in so it's two types of candy it's quite the good though it almost tastes like orange or something but it's not because i don't really like orange all that much i'm not sure these little kit kat things i just don't know what to expect with this like at all okay all right i like this a lot more than i was expecting too honestly you can kind of taste some strawberry coming through but it's more heavily chocolate than that and that works for me personally so thank you so much malia for that gift that was really just very sweet and thoughtful of her and i was really excited to get it and i've already used some of the stationery and i will use more in my reading journal so i got a order today from what is this and paper and art co i follow them on instagram i ordered some ghost stickers for halloween and i'm really excited all right this is their little postcard very cute here is all this and then i ordered this is a freebie so i did not order this but i absolutely love it love it the mushrooms are you kidding me love it I ordered this ghost, which I think I might use for my October reading journal spread. And this ghost I'll probably use for one of the repeat spreads in the 2025 journal. And then I got this witchy one and this witchy one, both of which I would like to use in October spread or maybe even September's. Pretty, pretty happy about that. I don't really get that much. Um, book mail so it's always fun when I get one during a vlog. Anyways, as you all saw I spent the entire day basically doing something that is unnoticeable you know you notice when the dirt and the grime is built up on something but you don't necessarily notice when things are clean because your brain doesn't really register it as anything so obviously when you are tidying or decluttering there's a pretty big visual difference but when you literally just clean something it's hard to just walk in the room and be like hmm you cleaned the stove didn't you <laughs> i spent a lot of time and energy i'm exhausted <laughs> these people still have to eat again again today but i spent a lot of time and energy doing something that just doesn't make that big of an impact and I didn't get any of my regular stuff done basically and I'm gonna have to double up tomorrow so that's why this stuff is just not sustainable and why it does get procrastinated for so long and again the purpose of these vlogs is to kind of be like hey look I accomplished something and have a record of it <laughs> serotonin about it because otherwise it would just be like kind of depressing to spend that much time working on something for the only reward for it to be clean I guess <laughs> You know it's just the reality there's not a lot of a lot of recognition for deep cleaning the oven i think what i'm going to end up doing because we do have the next one two weeks i think what i'm likely going to end up doing is i will give you some more clips of the three hour cleaning projects in the next week and a half two weeks or so before i film that 24 and 24 fall decorate with me and reset and then I think the rest of the time that my kids are home I might switch out a video and I might film another reading vlog where I try to read a lot of fantasy romance let me know if that's something that you would want me to prioritize when I might, could have extra reading time and the last one that I did, I read One Dark Window, Two Twisted Crowns, Fear the Flames, all huge successes. So that was, uh, you know, a highlight of the reading year, basically. So if we could get another one of those, that would be great. And then also on Saturday, I'm going to have a discussion video. Tell me right now, people, I might ask on Instagram too, you might answer both places. Um, I might ignore all of your answers. It's hard to say what the future holds <laughs> for us, but would you rather have a discussion around romance and the attacks and perceptions on the genre and on the readers, or would you rather have one on elitism in the book community and how there is kind of a pyramid of hierarchy in the way that people talk to other readers? Let me know which one you would rather have first. One will be 
this week and one will be probably before the end of 2024 so if you could give me some direction i technically have romance on the schedule i don't know that i feel fired up for it i don't know let me know what you want thanks so much for watching bye